You know, with the holidays coming up, a lot of us are anticipating getting together with family mm -hmm. during the holidays. And, you know, we always have this Norman Rockwell picture of the holidays Absolutely. where everything's exactly. perfect, the tur turkey's perfect, um, everyone's getting along, but that is not always the case if we look at reality. So one way to, you know, kind of meander through the holidays is learning some healthy family relationship tips. And there is a wonderful person joining us via Skype right now. We want to say good morning to Van Moody. Good morning. How are you? I'm wonderful. It's a joy to be with you all today. Well, thank you. We're in, in home is where for you? Where are you right now? I'm right now in Birmingham, Alabama. Well, hello. Roll Tide, right? <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. Well, we are so pleased to have you with us. And, you know, we, we got some information on your um, book that is coming out. And it's, you're talking about people and relationships. And, and when Ronnie and I were um, looking at this information that was sent to us, it's so true, Van, when we talk about family relationships and sometimes the anxiety that goes along with that, especially during the holidays. Very much so. Uh, often in the holidays, they're not uh, always filled with joy and laughter. A lot of times they're filled with stress. And this affects people in a number of ways. One of the things that I've learned and that I work with people around the country and around the world to understand is that there are no neutral relationships, even in your family. There's the old adage that you can pick your friends, but you can't pick your family. Mm, and that yeah. adage is very true, which means then that you have to learn how to have healthy relationships even with unhealthy individuals or even with individuals that raise your stress level and that happens a lot during the holidays and so uh, I'm excited about sharing with individuals tips about number one how to do that uh, so that their holidays are less stressful and are more healthy. What's the number one pitfall that you see family members um, go through during the holidays? Well one of the things is that they don't manage their time or even express themselves well. One of the things that you've got to do when you're dealing with a stressful family or even what I call toxic people, and toxic people are not just individuals outside in the workplace. A lot of times toxic individuals, unfortunately, can be in your family. And you've got to set up boundaries, and that's what individuals don't do well. They allow family to just run roughshod over their life, uh, over the values that they set for their own individual life or even for their respective family. And that's a recipe for a disaster. You know, it's interesting. On your tips, Van, one of them is says, don't accept everyone. What do you mean by that? <laughs> well, the reality of it is values guide your life. Uh, I think one of the things that the world is experiencing, even with the Miami Dolphins situation with Mr. Incognito and others, mm -hmm. uh, is that if you don't clearly define what those values are, uh, then toxic people, including your family, are not just going to set boundaries for you. So one of the things that you have to do by not accepting every individual is establishing the values that your life will be driven by and then communicating that so that people who don't fit those values are aware and they can work within the boundaries that you set up. Interesting. So Van, what if p your family considers you the toxic mm. one? Do you necessarily recognize that? I mean, what can we do as ourselves? Well, one of the things uh, that we can do, number one, is to have authentic conversation uh, with family members around, uh, this is kind of who I am, these are some of the values that drive my life, uh, and to get feedback. One of the things that I talk about in the book is that before anybody can have a healthy relationship with anybody else, they first have got to have a healthy relationship with themselves, and a part of that process includes discovery. But in discovery, you've got to bring other individuals into that process. Every ophthalmologist will tell you that regardless of how great or poor your vision is, every person has a blind spot, which means that we often see ourselves a certain way, but you've got to evaluate yourself and then bring trusted people like family into that process that can help you see yourself more clearly and adequately, and then you can start down the road of healthy relationships. Van, what brought you to the point where you are now? I'm as far as understanding all of these incredible points, you know, don't repeat the past, don't force it, you know, all these wonderful tips. Just studying families and knowing families, personal experience, how did you get to the point right now where you can, you know, share this and help people with your book, The People Factor? Uh, about 20 plus years of counseling individuals, counseling families, mm. 
leading people uh, at uh, a high level, uh, in addition to the work that I do around the world. I've been working for the past 20 plus years with individuals and organizations strictly in the area of developing leaders and developing people so organizations are healthy mm -hmm. and that they accomplish the bottom line. And so I've got a kind of a hodgepodge of the things that I've been doing for the last few years, but I've been spending, my, my whole life really has been dedicated to working with people and helping them to have healthier lives and to have healthier relationships with the people that are in their life. Because I learned a long time ago, and this, this rev, really revolutionized my life, there's no such thing as a neutral relationship. And when you wrap your mind around that, then you understand that the people in your life, whether they're family, whether they're in the workplace, they affect us on some level. So they are literally charting our course for the next year, next week, uh, next few months. And that then brings us to a place where we have to be very careful with the people that we interact with and we have to ensure that we have healthy relationships because if not, they will affect our lives in a very negative way. So Amen true. That. So true. Right? Well, you know, you are a blessing to mm -hmm. many people, and Ronnie and I know that um, in the work that you have done, not only in motivating people, but um, just speaking the truth to them. Your book is called The People Factor, Healthy Family Relationships, and um, right there, you're going to get healthy family relationship tips from that book, The People Factor. Van, what, thank you for sharing thank with you. us this morning. Thank you for your time. Thank you for the work that you do that is um, seen and unseen. And we appreciate your time and being with us this morning very much. Thank you. Thank you so much. It was a joy. And we'll be back with more Good Life in just a moment. Stay right where you are.